Welcome to Z-Clan News. I'm your host, Dire Dwarf. Rumors of a giveaway that have been circulating recently have just now been confirmed. We caught up with Zeke and asked him for more details, and this is what he had to say. Yeah, I had a lot of fun doing Terra Firma Crack Season 2. Met a lot of great people. And to all of my new subs, and also to all of my old subs, thank you very much. And if you want to win something, just keep watching. Well, folks, there you have it. Stay tuned for more details on how you could win. For Zeke Land News, I'm Dire Dwarf. So, apparently, when I paused the game, I paused uh, right next to a creeper. It kind of hurt. Alright, so I was exploring this cave, just doing a bit of resource gathering. This over here is that huge pool of water in the bottom of the storage area. And I came across these chests. Now, I'm fairly certain that I've never been here before, so these floating ore blocks are kind of strange. I'm also fairly certain that chests are supposed to join when placed next to each other. So none of these are actually chests. There we go. I have to actually right click them before I can attack them. Oh, now he's a chest. Oh, jeez. Jumps. Is that all I get out of him? I just get chests. I guess so. Achievement get. Random chest. Well, that one is actually is a chest. Wow. Oh. Okay. I was not expecting that. Let's take that with me. Okay, so what I'm just doing at the moment is just clearing out whatever resources I can. I want to take a... Whoa. Take a, a quick break from building things and... Another three of them. Oh, he's actually a chest as well. That's cool. I'll take that. Yeah, quick break, do some mining, gather some resources. And then actually get stuck into something else. I think, yep, he's a, he's a mimic. I think I'm going to do some power adjustments because there's just so many guys standing around in that spawner just not dying. It's Efficiency is terrible when I run out of power. If I have the power, it's fine. What about you? Oh, you're a chest as well. Oh, wow, 27 wooden tires. And a steel pick. How much of this can I actually take? That much. Alright, that's okay because I can do... Wait a second. That's what this is for. I need to dump all that in there. That'll go to the right spot. That's so sweet. And that one. And that one. That'll do. Alright, I'll take that. So, I guess I'll start here, work my way back. Just grab whatever I can. I don't believe I have a fortune pick on me, so I'll leave the lapis. Just because I'm greedy. And I'm going to get started on power systems. Yeah, while I was trying to actually make my way back, and I kind of got distracted by even more stuff, I got um, attacked by a red creeper. And if you remember, those are the guys that throw TNT at you. And he was accompanied by a wooden axe, and after I defeated him, I turned around to where he had thrown the TNT so I could pick up the the cobblestone that had broken loose, and I found this, just this random golden axe, so I guess that was there as well. And then I came in here and I found this. That there is some more diamond, and nickelite and coal and stuff, but I don't have my fortune pick with me, so I'm going to leave that, and now I'm going to stop getting distracted, I'm going to try and find my, okay, I won't stop getting distracted, I'll grab this, find my way out of here, and then do some power stuff. Oh, I just lost that. 
Damn it. Okay, so I'm going to need a steam boiler, but I don't want to use the high pressure boiler. What I do need to use though are industrial steam engines. I'm going to want, I think, two of these to begin with. That should hopefully cover it. If not, I can make more. Now they need these steel plates, and steel plates are made in a rolling machine with four steel for four plates. Now I've already made the rolling machine, that was just a bunch of pistons and iron. So I need to make two lots of this, which would be eight steel for that. And for each of these I need eight steel. So we're already at 24 steel just to get these, well just to get these done, really. I don't think I have that much. I don't think I've got anywhere near that. And I know that it takes iron quite a long time in a blast furnace to become steel. So if I can find any in these chests here, that would be great. Otherwise, I'm going to be standing outside that blast furnace for ages. So I'll be back when I'm done with that. In the, before I actually go looking though, let's clear this. And uh, we want an iron plate. Iron plates made the same way except you used iron in the rolling machine. And I want to make these low pressure boilers. Oh look right there, a blast furnace to turn it into steel. Do I even have my blast furnace yet? I honestly do not remember. So this here, I'm going to need... I think I might start with a 2 by 2 by 3 So that's 12 of these which in turn is 24 of these, which is 6 runs of this. So I need 24 iron. I can do that, I've got plenty of that. Alright, I'm just going to go get this steam, steam iron turned into steel. And, I don't know, maybe I'll go do some more digging while I wait. But first off, do I actually have a blast furnace? Now, when I first installed Railcraft, I said I didn't know what I was doing with it, and at that point in time, I don't have a blast furnace. I was telling the truth, I had no idea what I was doing, I've never used it before. Since then, I've actually done a fair bit of work in a Feed the Beast world, on a server hosted by Darkvan, and I've done a fair bit of experimenting with Railcraft Power. So I have a general idea of what I want to do in here, and well, let's see if I can do this without making everything explode. Blast furnace needs one more. I actually want to put that in the ground so it's the same height as the coke oven. Been a long day. I forget names. Okay. Do I even have the stuff I need for this? Do I have to go to the nether? Let's have a look. Blast furnace. Which one of those would be better to make? I don't even have a rock crusher. Oh, that's to get the stuff out of one of those, okay. Uh, let's see, what's an infernal brick take? Oh, okay, so... It's ending up the same anyway. Let's get back to that. Yeah, so that'll give me two, that'll give me two. Yeah, these recipes are essentially the same, it's just this one is one less step than that, okay. Now how many of these do I need? Oh, it tells me right there. 3 by 4 by 3 is 36, but it's hollow, so what, I take 2 out of it? 34? Which is highly inconvenient, because 4 doesn't go into it, and I'll have 2 blocks left over. And I'm going to see if I've got the stuff for this. Looks like I did have enough stuff, so let's get this thing built. I don't know if that works, because I can't see the one down the bottom. But we can try this. There it is. Okay, now I've completely forgotten all the numbers that are related to how much iron and steel I needed. I'm going to have to work that out again and get that thing started. Probably go digging, because there's not really much else I can do. Or... Maybe I can get started laying the floor for the, the library. That might be a good idea. I don't know if I have the right sort of wood. I want to do that in a dark wood. 
wonder if this will tell me what sort of woods I can find. I don't think I really like that one. The spruce wood, obviously. But I do have some other things installed. Hmm, maybe I can cut down some redwoods. I have to find them first. What if we go for log, ogre lair, and wyvern lair? They sound interesting. What about plank? No. I think I'm definitely going to have to go with the spruce wood. And going with the spruce wood, I can also get the bibliocraft bookshelves to match that I want to have down there. Do I even have any spruce wood? I should have, because the autumn trees... Yes, there we go. The autumn... 20,000! Autumn trees have this as well as the oak wood. Okay. Alright, time to do some more math. Just while I'm laying these planks, I'd like to have a quick word about the 300 subscriber giveaway. Now, I'm pretty certain that a lot of my new subs were from the Terra Firma Crack Season 2 videos. Now, I can only hope that you guys are still watching, and I haven't released anything since then aside from the Skyward Ascent. But, uh, yeah, Terra Firma Crack kind of s completely screwed over my sleeping pattern. I'm still exhausted from it, and that finished a couple of weeks ago. Actually, it was even longer, about four weeks ago now. And I've been trying to get some recording done, but, you know, life happens. But I'm here now, saying thanks to all of my new subs, any of you who happen to be watching this, and to every one of you that does watch this, I will be having the 300 sub giveaway. I have three different prizes in mind, and in order to be able to win one of them, all I would like to see is a comment on this video with your preference as to which one. Now, as for the prizes, I do have Dead Space 1, I have Steam Key and an Origin Key, but I can only give away one because they're both for the same game. I have Dead Space 3, but I only have an Origin Key for that one. So if you're uh, against Origin, like myself, then you won't want to win that one because you won't want to play it. The third option is for people who already have Dead Space 1 and 3 or don't want to use Origin for Dead Space 3 and already have Dead Space 1 or whatever other combination there is. The third option will be a Steam game of your choice up to the value of $10. And as I said before, all I need from you guys is just a comment on this video so I know who's interested and I can find some nice other way to uh, pick a name out of the hat, pretty much. Last time we had our fancy random lotto machine. That was actually quite a lot of fun to build, and it's still there, and it still works. But I want to try something different. There's no point going back and reusing machinery when I have infinite supply of pretty much everything. All I need is some time, and some ingenuity. I don't know, maybe this time I might use a bow and arrow. Who knows? But yes, once again, prizes will be Dead Space 1, Steam or Origin, Dead Space 3, Origin only, or Steam game of your choice. Is that a blue creeper? That is a blue creeper. He's going to spoil my day if I let him get anywhere near me. Where's my bow? Did I put my bow away? That's not my fortune pick. I may have put my bow away. Alright, let's do this the old fashioned way. Oh, if I can get him in the right spot. Come over this way. No, 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 over this way. Out somewhere where I can just... Oh crap! I think I did it. Did he go flying off into the water? Yes, he did. 
Hey, reflexes are brilliant at 10 to 2 in the morning. I'll go away. Go away. Cool. So, um, distractions aside, thank you to my 300 plus subs, to however many viewers are actually watching, and good luck to anyone who wants to throw down a comment and enter the giveaway.